We are Ben and Naomi, and this is the start of our daily vlogs. During 2020, we did quite a lot of editing, quite a lot of filming for different reasons. But it also meant that it broke my computer. So I was able to buy a new laptop. With a new laptop came a whole new editing software. And so I decided to do some daily vlogs to learn how to use my new editing software. What you doing, Ben? Taking You're taking photos of this one here. Oh, isn't that good? <laughs> so welcome to daily vlog number one. I forgot the shadow. She does not like to walk anywhere that's not right on your heel. So we tend to do a lot of dog sitting and so we do get a bit bored with the same walk over and over again and so every time we do have to go off somewhere different I went to go to the office today to get the van so I can pick up some stone for our wall. Uh, we needed to come out of town and so therefore we decided <laughs> I thought she was actually sitting in the water then decided to uh, take them to a new place so let me explain Ben has a job uh, the job has a van and we sometimes use this van in order to pick up stuff that we have bought or that we are picking up Big stuff, heavy stuff. Uh, we have a few cars, but none of them are useful for uh, dirty things, heavy things, big things. Just got you another stone to throw to her. It's a massive stone. So we are currently building a wall in our garden. We're doing a whole garden makeover. It'll take some time and we want some stone and this is obviously too heavy for any of our other cars so we borrowed the van which meant we had to go up to the office and therefore we went for a dog walk near where Ben's office is. <laughs> One more paddle then we're going. <laughs> You're such a bully, Luna. Luna, Mabel. Let's not go with that one. I don't want to break your tea. <laughs> Thanks. Not far from Ben's office is the River Usk, and so we decided we would take the van and go for a walk. Luna, the white dog, she absolutely loves the water, and Mabel <laughs> generally tends to follow Luna. <laughs> yeah, anytime Luna sees some water, she gets in. Doesn't matter how hard it is to get to it, she's in just as we've dried off a bit. This is Ben's work van and we remembered that there were some seats in the back and since the dogs were wet we decided we would do this instead of have them at the front with us. Here we go. Oh, you can see Luna. Mabel can't be seen very well. How many bags of sand have you bought, Ben? Sand, sand. And how many bags of gravel? Fifteen. Fifteen bags. And some milk. <laughs> that is not bad. <laughs> Sorry, who's there? Who's there someone there? 
buffalo. <laughs> Shall we give them the treats? Or are we giving them to them at home? I think at home. Treats. Let me get Luna on the seat. Luna, up, go on, up, go on, up you go. Come on, I know you can go up there. Here's the out. Hey, Luna, up, up. Go on. Neil's like, I was just there, don't tell me to go back. That way. Go on. Good girl. When you send Ben for a snake, snake, savoury snack, <laughs> he comes back with some weird box of. That's <laughs> all they had in my defence. <laughs> How does it taste, Benj? Mmm. Mmm. Hook cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> We are fortunate to live along the coastline of South Wales and generally you can decide how clear the day is depending on how many islands you can see and whether you can see England. Hello! <laughs> They're like freedom! Have the, oh, Mabel's going to get back in again. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel's like, do I know it here? <laughs> well, she's actually literally going to get back in again. Because we are gluttons for punishment, trying to cut down some of the sycamore tree right by the door. But they're all too high. It's not so useful. The problem is, they all just sit in this bit of the tree up here and they poo all over my car and all over my nice new drive. As well as all the way along that wire there. And they poo all over whatever car is here. Not going to be able to do it then. That tree. Those two trees there need to go. I mean, I can cut that bit off as high as I can if you pass me the things. Dogs. Bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. and more bugs. The highest one you can reach, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Zoom is touching the house. Bugs. Here. Bugs. So what are we having today then, Benj? Roasted char su pork. Or however that is read. And what that's company why, is this? That's why I held it instead of reading it. <laughs> what company is it that we're using today? Feast Box. 
we have been using I don't even know what they're called food boxes I guess they're called uh, we started with Gusto then we had Hello Fresh um, we had Mindful Chef and now we're on Feast Box we're trying them out um, we quite like them it means that we can cook much more regularly and have better food much more regularly we have been using the uh, food boxes um, for the last couple of months actually I think it is um, because we wanted to try and eat more healthy food or at least eat better food um, and because we because of the hours that we work and stuff it's been quite difficult to find things to eat fairly late at night and we always take ages trying to decide what to cook and then trying to see if we have all the ingredients and so we just decided that these boxes might actually work because we have four choices each week um, and we are able to then just get on and start cooking all the ingredients are already there in the bag so we don't spend ages trying to find if we have everything most of the time when they miss out an ingredient uh we generally tend to have it anyway so that's quite useful we have tried a few we started with gusto and gusto is currently our favorite um then we had hello fresh hello fresh was was good the meals were good, but we felt that they didn't have a, a lot of recycling, recyclable packaging, which we didn't like. And then we had Mindful Chef. Mindful Chef was okay. There's not a lot of options of meals with that one. But now we are on to Feast Box. Feast Box is mostly the for, foreign foods, I think. It's more like a lot of the Asian foods and stuff. Um... Uh, we haven't had it enough weeks to really know about feast box. The only thing that we would say with feast box is they're too long. A lot of the meals take, you know, half an hour, forty minutes, fifty minutes. What does today's take? Forty minutes total, twenty minutes active. What time is it now? It's quarter past ten. We started cooking about ten, fifteen minutes ago. Um, so a twenty minute meal is better a 50 minute meal we're eating quite late and that's what we were trying to avoid which is why we've started doing this so yeah that is what we are doing need to look and see if there are any other companies to try um i don't think i've had a look recently so <laughs> i think the doggies are tired there's one and there's the other <laughs> sleeping in the way as always sleeping in the way there's your head there it is Luna Luna <laughs> Luna 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 I think she's tired That was close. I love how it's got like the crunchy and the chocolate fingers in the back. Just to, to make sure it doesn't seem too healthy. <laughs> Is that tasty? They look healthy. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, proper cooking and it's Asian food. It's always going to be healthy, isn't it? All Asian food is healthy. <laughs> There's the healthy bit. There's the healthy bit. It's always nice to have your personal space whilst you're eating your dinner, isn't it? Yeah, I just isn't it, Mabes? You can buy these sculptures. Check this one out. 8500 bucks. You can have this in your house. It's a high price, but this is the... There's nothing like finishing the day with a good innocent gun. <laughs> tasty, tasty. Also... An expensive one. What is this innocent gun, Ben? Vanishing point two. Oh, it's so good. <clears throat> Imperial stout. Oh, this, this is the stuff. It's the bomb.